Welcome to another Armed Anglican video, and thanks for your interest. At Armed Anglican, we always try to give you brief and concise videos that present factual information based on actual experience and data. And when we express an opinion, we'll always try to be clear about that. This is a quick follow-up to our video that documented our troubleshooting adventure and our ultimate problem solution for a ser serious failure to eject problem we were having with our Taurus PT-22. In this uh, update, we'll show you a more permanent fix for the problem, uh, and this is not a modification to the firearm. It's a very simple fix that will only cost pennies, actually only 79 cents plus tax for each magazine you have. Uh, just as a review, the problem we were having was constant jamming from failures to eject the spent casings in our little pea shooter. After trying a lot of things, we found that the problem was excessive play in the magazine. And it was actually moving up and down about a millimeter, and that was causing the ejection troubles. Our test repair consisted of cutting out a couple of Velcro spacers that we applied to the butt of the gun in order to take out the slack and stop the magazine from rattling around. Well, as we documented in the original vi video, it worked like a charm and the problems disappeared. Uh, but we wanted to come up with a more permanent repair that would not be a modification of the firearm. Uh, we knew that Taurus would not honor our warranty if we did that, and there are also some legal implications, especially since we would be showing our mod on YouTube. Uh, not very smart. Uh, so we did come up with a solution, and it's dirt cheap, it doesn't change the gun, and well, it's not Velcro. Uh, the first thing we did is to go to our friendly Ace Hardware store, and they also sell ammo, by the way. And we picked up a few uh, random sizes of rubber O-rings that we thought would do the trick. And then we removed the Velcro spacers and we cleaned up uh, the sticky residue. Uh, we tried a couple of different sizes of the O-rings and we found that a 3 quarter inch by 7 8 inch by 1 16 inch ring was perfect. And these were 79 cents a piece at Ace. All you have to do is slip an O-ring over the top of the magazine and then roll the O-ring all the way down to the base plate and then push it down into the groove in the plastic bottom plate of the magazine and then just pop the magazine in the gun and it should snap right in with no play. Uh, just like it did with the Velcro spacers. That's it. Pretty simple. It's working fine for us. and Let us know how this works for you. That's it for now. Until next time, be safe and go with God. This is the Armed Anglican signing off.